Hello guys and welcome here to the Lyft National Series. This is race number 32 here today from the Martinsville Speedway. I'm Brian James here in the booth with you today. Proud to bring you the final race of the round of eight as we get prepared to determine who will be in the championship four next weekend, seven days from now, when we head to Ricky Raceway. Man, I can't believe we're at this point of the season, but starting on the pole today, it's gonna be the 68 of Chris Russell. And to his outside will be the number 65 of Dave James. Before we get going, let's take a look at your playoff scenario. And as you see, there are two guys that are locked in. Dan Hummel, Alex Tanker, both with wins in this round, are in. Starting in fourth today, Dustin Davis. Keep in mind, he is seven points to the good entering today. Daniel Gidero, his teammate, is six points to the good. It's still really anybody's race. Nick Smith has a little more work to do. So does Alexander Rowe, but amongst the first two, or the two in um, yellow and the first two in red, it's just about anybody's race. Here, but of course, one thing that could change everything is a win today. Any driver in yellow or red that wins will lock themselves in to the next round, regardless of where they finish in the point standings. That's something to keep in mind as we get going here from Martinsville under the lights for the first time ever. So we can't wait to bring that to you. Let's go roll the intro and we'll be back with the starting lineup here. Well, actually, yeah, we'll be back here with Starting Lap in just a moment. You are watching the Gaming Collaboration Network, home of the Jello Cup Series. Oh man, three turns three and four, we're going to have ourselves another photo finish, and I believe this time, the 43 Tim Randolph will win at Daytona. The Lyft National Series. Here we go. They make their way through turn three and four. The pace car will peel off. And for the first time ever, the Lyft National Series is green. Here at Daytona, the Hitachi Truck Series. And here we go. The pace truck is gonna peel off. And for the first time ever in GCN history, we have a truck series, and we are underway under the lights here at Daytona in Tuesday Night Heat. Your GCN presentation starts right now. And here we go, the starting lap. It'll be on the left hand side of your screen. You see them starting to get formed here as the pace car will peel off. And Chris Russell and Dave James. And they'll lead us through turns three and four to the Geico restart zone where we'll see the green flag we're underway at Martinsville. Chris Russell, he'll lead the opening lap, and this may be a good time to remind you guys, I may have messed up, so of course we're racing here on a Friday night. Oh, 20 in the wall. Not good for Dustin Davis as they go three wide, and you see the six have to back out of it. They're all scrambling back there. And look at this, three wide, this is not going to work. 
Someone's going to end up in the marbles, and it'll be the 54. As you look on back, can they keep it clean? And it looks like they do. But again, we're racing on Friday night. The championship race will be next Saturday at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern here on YouTube, and I believe over on uh, Facebook as well. Again, the championship race is next Saturday. Not this Saturday, next one. So eight days from now, we will determine a champion. Oh, the 39 is pushed out wide. And keep in mind, the 39, Tyler Faden, he's one that needs to race his way in here today. So now that he's lost a position... I guess we know these guys aren't afraid to beat and bang for positions. But Jeff Scott should have uh, realized right there, that's a championship contender. Don't be messing with him. We've completed seven laps. Chris Russell with a big lead. So I believe this week also we have IndyCar racing. So before we head to our championship race, or actually we're starting the Indy 500 stuff to, on uh, Sunday. So that'll be nice. back there it looks like a battle for third it's the 16 Jeff Scott the four of Casey Nanako you see Tyler Faden I believe just lost another position he almost took out the 90 of Tim Randolph there and the big thing for that 39 is just don't get frustrated right now it's still early there's still a chance to rebound and I think that's going to be the key in this race for some of these playoff guys running up front. Stay patient because things can change as the runs continue. One guy who is staying patient is your race leader because he's opened up a 1.3 second advantage. It's up to 1.4 that last time by. You see Nanako holds off the 16. I'm shocked the 16 didn't try to use the bumper there. We know he's been a fan of using the bumper today. He bumped the 39 out of the way for a position. Keep in mind, Tyler Faden enters this race seven points back of Daniel Gittero. And, of course, eight points back of Dustin Davis. He needs some work to get there. Of course, let's check in on Daniel Gittero because we know Dustin Davis is up front. He's running in 17th. 
So right now, if I'm not mistaken, it'd be obviously Dan Hummel, Alex Tanker, Dustin Davis, and possibly Tyler Faden would round out the championship four at this point. So we know Daniel Gittero has to get moving. Where's the 22, though? 22 is 30 seconds, so it would for sure be those four right now as things stand. So Tyler Faden doesn't have to worry too much. But he's going to have to stay up front and make something happen. And of course, if he makes the championship four, he'd be the first winless driver in GCN history to make the championship four. And oh, should we add to that as well? Not only would he make the championship four, if he wins that championship, he'd be the first winless driver to win a championship. Another thing you might want to add to that list there is you see Keith Stevens preparing to take the race lead, and he will. Up front now as well is Alexander Rowe. And one thing you can't rule out here is cautions. As you see the 08 pitting, and so are the rest of them. You see the one go around. Is he going to be the race leader? Or did he pit a lap sooner? Looks like about a lap sooner. Oh, the six gets into the 26. Some damage there. And something happened to the six of Giorgio Stumu because he's got a lot of damage. And so does the 10 of DJ Brady. Something happened there. And Dave Hashi is actually up to second at this point, I believe. As Chris Russell will go back to the race lead. Tyler Faden with an issue. Tyler Faden is still on the pit lane. He has a big issue, and this will eliminate him from playoff contention. And you see right there, he's now multiple laps down. Even if we get overtime, he's done. So a gut-wrenching way to end your championship hopes here today. You see the 68 starting to catch the back of the pack. Of course, he's maintaining a 1.9 second lead over second place Jeff Scott, who's having probably his best run of the year thus far. So good run for that Colleg Racing team. And you see the one finally pitting. And you look on back, Dan Hummel there in 21st. So right now, let's see how things stack up. Casey Horton is 27th. Nick Smith is up to 13th. And where's Daniel Gittero? He's in 15th. So I would safely say that right now, the final four kind of remains the same. Because where's Dustin Davis, actually? That's the big question. Dustin Davis is down to 27th. So right now, I have confidence that this would be the championship four.
and that would be the team enter or the four cars entering Ricky running for the championship of course we're coming up on nine laps to go right now keep in mind tomorrow we run 75 laps on the cup side man and oh boy if there's anybody that's gonna need a caution very soon it's gonna be that 51 he is slowly seeing his championship hope slip away Alexander Rowe Of course, Alexander Rowe, the former cup champion, wants to battle for the Lyft National title this season. He missed the truck championship four, and he's slowly, lap by lap, seeing his uh, Lyft National hopes slip away. Chris Russell has been untouched in this race. He can be on his way to a second win. You see a car that's blown up, and it's the 38 of Samet Ozcon. He's going to stop in the middle of the track, and this will bring out a much-needed caution. And guess what? This is going to help the 51, possibly, and may spark overtime. So we may have our first overtime attempt. Of season number or first overtime attempt of the playoffs rather I should say. Of course we're going to see how things stack up. Let's go see what happened. Just the engine expires for Samet Ozcon, it looks like. You see right there, ex exiting turn four, it just lets go on him. A tough break. We're going to see, though, if this warrants overtime. So we'll be back here on GCN in just a moment. Here we go. It's GCN Overtime presented by Mitchell's Memes. Here at the Championship Four side, I believe we only have three attempts at this and this will be attempt number one it's going to be chris russell D uh jeff scott leading us to the green overtime is underway and keep in mind if that 68 gets the white flag this race is over as you see the 16 battle back on the outside they're side by side going into turn three and it looks like the 16 is going to get the advantage, but they're still side by side. The white flag is out. One lap of racing to go. Presented by Mitchell's Memes. And they're still battling. That 16 is not letting up. And Chris Russell trying to battle to the inside, but the 16 has the advantage right now. Out of turn number four, it's going to be a side by side battle. Who's going to win the race? Jeff Scott is going to get his first win here at Martinsville. Alexander Rowe, he's going to finish in ninth. Will it be enough to get into the championship four? We will find out in just a moment. But congratulations to Jeff Scott. He gets his first win here today at Martinsville. And we will be back in about 10, 15 seconds as we want to show your results and then we will show you your standings and we'll get to tell you who made the championship four here in just a moment. In a surprising turn of events, of course, we knew Alex Tanker would make it in. We knew Dan Hummel would make it in. What we didn't expect is overtime to really shake things up. And Daniel Gittero and Alexander Rowe have both advanced to the championship four, along with Dan Hummel and Alex Tanker, as mentioned. 
So again, your championship four, Dan Hummel, Daniel Gittero, Alex Tanker, Alexander Rowe. Oh boy, this is going to get very interesting as we head to Ricky Raceway next Saturday. Congratulations to those four, and congratulations to Jeff Scott, who gets a remarkable victory at Martinsville by just a few seconds. We want to thank you guys for watching. We're, we're uh, going to be back here next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern for the championship race. You won't want to miss it. But until then, guys, goodbye, everyone.